And the armed forces of the Philippines is marking a significant step in modernizing its military capabilities. It is now 3D printing drones in a bid to strengthen its future warfare defense. According to General Romeo Bronner, the military's chief of staff, the 3D initiative had been in place since last year and they will be used for surveillance, particularly over the South China Sea. He acknowledged that the country is also preparing for potential scenarios, including a conflict in Taiwan, which could involve drone warfare. And Philippines has in more occasion than one mentioned that if anything happens in Taiwan, Philippines will inadvertently be involved. Taiwan is host to some 200,000 overseas Filipino workers. The Philippine Navy is utilizing locally made drones to patrol these waters surrounding the islands and the country's northernmost province and closest landmarks to Taiwan. In the light of potential conflicts, General Romeo Bronner revealed that the military is developing contingency plans for the mass evacuation of Filipino workers from Taiwan. He said a new forward operating base was established in Patanis to accommodate potential refugees. Now, during the 27th annual Indo-Pacific Chiefs of Defense Conference hosted by the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command in Thailand, this was from August, its commander, Admiral Samuel Paparo, impressed on Manila the vital role it played as the frontliner in ensuring a free and open Indo-Pacific. With its archipelagic location, making it a crucial player in the region, the Philippines is strengthening its alliances with Japan, donating five coastal surveillance radars to help monitor the South China Sea. And the two countries are also deepening military ties, though the Philippines is still evaluating Japan's offer of six Abu Kuma-class destroyers due to constitutional concerns. The Philippines is bolstering its military alliance with the U.S., and with plans for expanded participation in next year's Balikatan exercises. The annual shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder training will include more countries such as Australia, Japan, South Korea, New Zealand, Canada, India, France, UK and Germany. Meanwhile, tensions remain high in the South China Sea, with the Philippines vowing to resist China's plans to build a nature reserve on the Scarborough Shoal.